Hello YouTube. This is my second video in the series of traffic signals training. Um, one very frequently asked question uh, when I mention that I'm a traffic signal technician is how does one become a traffic signal technician? Um, and so I wanted to uh, share this video so that uh, people kind of had a little bit of insight on how you would wind up in a field like this because there's really no um, there's no I mean I think I've heard of like maybe one school or something that's put on by a union hall um, uh, but uh, as far as traditional education is concerned there's really no technical school out there yet hopefully maybe someday um, training people hands-on experience with uh, you know traffic signals so it's not really something that you just go to school for although uh, some people that wind up in this field uh, you know go to electronic school and then um, you know study uh, electronics and then apply for a position with uh, um, a municipality or a traffic signal uh, company um, some people uh, like myself work their way up smaller electrical kind of companies or jobs and I worked uh, installing security systems and fire systems um, and then I then I uh, became an automation technician so I was doing uh, lighting controls and, and uh, electronics controls in people's houses and and commercial applications so um, I started to gain knowledge on how to make relays work and, and you know relays and timers and, and making things happen and you know uh, so I actually just uh, one day applied uh, for a municipality in Florida um, and uh, they they uh, kind of like took a gamble and hired me even though I did not have any traditional uh, uh, signal experience I had electrical experience practical experience for the field um, and so uh, <clears throat> that's how I became a traffic signal technician um, uh, another way that people get into this field is they work as an electrician through a union hall so they they become an apprentice and uh, most uh, IBEW uh, union halls uh, will sponsor you in what's called a, an apprenticeship program and you apply and you you, you take a, a test it's like a basic uh, uh, mathematics and English aptitude test something like that and um, then they uh, they will uh, assign you a position with uh, all sorts of different kinds of electrical jobs you know they could be residential or commercial or and some people just kind of land in a position where they're working for a traffic signal outfit and gain practical field experience and then uh, you know I would say that the majority of traffic signal technicians I know work for a municipality like I do where you're maintaining the signals for the government um, and you are uh, you, you basically maintain uh, signals for municipalities or you know either a group of municipalities or just one city or just one uh, you know uh, I know a lot of technicians that work for the state and so they work a you know territory in their area of the state um, and then uh, like myself I work for a county so not only do I maintain signals that are owned by the county but I also maintain signals that are owned by cities within the county uh, and uh, so uh, I guess I'm getting a bit on a rant here but there are many other different jobs within the field of traffic signal technicians as well uh, that you work for a company that installs the traffic signals and some of those companies have maintenance contracts with municipalities uh, so you may just have a job where you just install traffic signals and all you know how to do is to install them but you really don't do much as far as uh, maintaining them over a long term 
And then uh, my job, I do a little bit of everything. Um, I've done installation of traffic signals. Um, and if uh, somebody gets drunk and then they knock the signal cabinet over, then uh, I come out at 2 o'clock in the morning and put a new signal cabinet in its place. Or if a uh, mast arm gets knocked down um, and the signals are in the road, we will come out with a bucket truck and, and put a new one in or, um, you know, we maintain that stuff. But then also just when the signal's in flash, uh, if you've ever seen a signal in flash mode, uh, I'll come out and see what the electronics are doing. Um, so I'm going to go more into depth about that kind of stuff, but I just kind of wanted to give you some insight on the ways that people became uh, traffic signal technicians. Uh, one other thing that I guess I would add is that there, uh, there is um, an organization, uh, and I'd probably do another video on this one, but there is an organization called uh, International Municipal Signals Association. Uh, of which I am a member and I recommend that if you're um, within the field of uh, traffic engineering or uh, a traffic signal technician uh, that you get involved with the organization or at least come to some of our meetings there are local chapters and uh, basically it's a trade organization that, that uh, assists in the training uh, and safety training and safe, safely maintaining traffic signals um, all the way down to you know the basics uh, it's a little bit less hands-on than even what I kinda wanna show you in these videos but at the same time it's a very good practical application uh, for the information required for somebody to get into a job like this so uh, hopefully this has been a, a little bit of an informative video and uh, Go ahead and subscribe and follow the rest of my videos and we can learn more about traffic signals together.